Hi, thanks very much for clicking on the link to watch another series segment of Idle Chat. Today I get to talk to a colleague in Northern India. Please meet our colleague, Suveer Sidhu. Hi, Suveer, how are you? Hi, Natalie, I'm well. I'm glad to be here, glad to be with you. And uh, it's so nice. You are in such a sunny country. As of now, there's so much ample light behind you. And I'm really glad to be by your side and ready to talk to whatever you wish to ask. Okay, excellent. Well, I'm really glad to uh, to get to meet a, a colleague from uh, Northern India. It's always so much fun to um, to talk to people with different languages, different cultures, different religions, uh, because the one thing we all have in common is that we love the, the ADR industry. So, Suveer, the Idle Chat series, uh, of course, as you know, is nothing whatsoever serious. It really lives up to its name. So I've drafted a bunch of questions and written them on these cards and we'll just shuffle the cards and then we'll start chatting. All right. Let's see, our first question, Suveer. What sound or noise do you love the most? You know, Natalie, I have just had my first child and uh, he, the little guy is now two years. So I never, I was, since my early days, I was never too much into kids, just to be fair. But uh, since the day I actually heard him, you know, just, just heard his first voice and the initial um initial year initial months uh, since he uh, since he actually gained some kind of a uh, you know knowledge about his surroundings whatever he's been doing i've been observing that and that is i think the most beautiful sound you can hear um, it is it is a, an experience that cannot be minced into words so that is that is some the little sounds that he makes the little things that he realizes and it is like every single day that there is a different experience to share because he is growing and he's getting curious about everything. So that is an answer to the question that you just asked. That's a really, really good answer, Sophia. I like that very much. And I think that most humans on the planet would agree with you. It really is the most beautiful sound or noise. So, all right, sir, the next question, uh, on what topic, could you spend hours talking about? Um, I have been into litigation for the past seven to eight years. So I can talk about equality. I can talk about justice. I can talk about freedom. I can talk about access to justice for hours and hours together. But I, but I have come to realize that people actually get bored who are not from this profession. So I do try to keep them happy and by cracking jokes in between. So I can make a good conversation. Excellent. Well, you know, you're, you're preaching to the choir. You're talking to a group of people who could talk about those same subjects for hours and hours or days and days even. So, all right. Mm. Suveer, what was the best thing that happened to you today? Uh, so today, actually, there's something very interesting that happened with me. I had gone to an event, a function. So I, like the American Bar Association, we have a bar licensing body here the, called the Bar Council. So that is in charge of regulating around, I think, 110,000 lawyers of the northern region. So I am one of the youngest members elected. So we get in, and that, that is part of the election process. So the bar council had actually, um, it had kept an event where we inducted around 100 lawyers today itself. Uh, so out of the 100 lawyers, so especially when you know that I've told you I come from the northern part of India and with a history that we have, out of the 100 lawyers, this is the first time in the history of the council when the majority of them were women. So we had 62 women lawyers enrolling today. 
So this is the majority that we have had since our inception, since 1961. So I gave a very long speech on women rights, equality, and the role that women have played in India, in the Indian legal judiciary. And just to let you know, 10 days back, uh, there you mu it, it must be the news everywhere, um, any of you who wishes to search. So we have had three women lawyers directly elevated to the Supreme Court of India. That is also the highest since the independence of the country, that is since 1947. So this week has been great for women. And this thing that happened with me today is the most interesting thing I could share. I can't begin to tell you how impressive that is. That is not at all the answer that I expected you to give, although I don't know what I really thought you would say. Um, but uh, sir, what a moving, moving response. Really, really, imp really impressive. Good for you. Good for you. All right, this next question um, is, you know, a little bit maybe less serious. Given our profession, given your background, um, I'm going to assume that you really enjoy reading. In what medium do you like to do your reading? On ebook, audiobook, paperback, hardcover? How do you like to do your reading? Well, Natalie, I can, I actually manage in everything. So I am, I have been very, very tech savvy from the past seven to eight years since uh, we've had Kodo, then Kindle, then since I had my first, uh, you know, iPad before that, I just used to use the laptop and desktop, but I am, I still prefer reading paperback sometimes when I'm actually very, I'm on my holidays, but otherwise um, I just, need a good book to read and doesn't matter which medium it is. That's all right. You know, I, I agree. As long as I can feed my addiction for information, doesn't matter to me what in what form it comes. So, all right. But paperback. Good. Um, let's see. What is your favorite dessert? Uh, so you've heard of gulab jamun? No, tell me about it. So it is an Indian dish from the early times. From the times we had Mughals in India. So that is around 1600s. So that is a, a wheat, wheat-based kind of a dish where it is fried and it is very hard on the outside, but very tender on the inside. And it is full of sweetness. So if you would Google it, so it, will, it is called Gulab Jamun. So one thing that I prefer with gulab jamun is like one scoop of whipped cream or one scoop of vanilla ice cream. Sounds lovely. That sounds really lovely. Mm, but now you're making me hungry. I am too. <laughs> Severe, are you familiar with the character Spock in Star Trek? Yes, I am. Can you... Yep. Can you do the Vulcan hand greeting? Excellent. Excellent. My husband would be so jealous. He can't do it. Oh. <laughs> he can't do it. Not everyone can. That is true. All right. Let's see the next question. If you could have an all expenses paid trip to see any world monument, which monument would you choose to visit? Sphinx, Pyramids of Giza. Yeah, yeah. It wouldn't, I think that would be remarkable. Absolutely remarkable. And I understand that it's just, it's just on the edge of the city of Cairo, that the, yes. the metropolis really comes right to the edge of the, the desert with the pyramids and the Sphinx. Is that correct? Yes, that is so true. The, the only reason I need an all expenses trip here would be because I won't be coming out of this place less than a month. Because I would need to visit every tomb and just go into the history as much as I as much deep as I can. So probably an all expenses trip trip would only cover me then. There you go. And I, I agree. I think you'd have to stay for the whole season. 
if you can't go for a weekend, you'd have to be there for a season to really get all the good information. That is true. Okay, let's see. Now, you're a new father, so you probably don't have a lot of time to play games. But when you play a game, what is the game that you spend the most time playing? So since I've got married for the past three years, I've been playing couple games. So there's a game called Lack, K N A C K. So it'll, uh, it is a I think uh, a twelve plus game. So the only reason we play it because we can play it together. There's some activity we can do together. I've been very unfair with my wife, not been giving her time for the past three years, and that is not the promise I made when I married her. But you know, as litigation, as lawyer, the life of a lawyer is. So I always make a point as to whatever extracurricular activity activity I do, including gaming. So I play a game that is multiplayer. So a game called Knack is a good game for us nowadays. All right, that's a really good answer. I love how much you love your family. Very nice. Very nice. Your parents must be very proud of the man that you've become. Thank you. Suvir, if you owned a restaurant, what kind of food would you serve? Um, Indian Afghani food. So I Indian really like Afghani. it. Yes. So, so the Indian food that you would have tasted there would be very, very spicy. And uh, so Indian Afghani food is less of spices and more of cream, but like a very... Uh, you know, different form of cream. So, so it is like food that is, uh, uh, you know, food that is covered with and food that is uh, uh, steamed with a different kind of a uh, cream that is that has been produced over a length of time. That sounds delicious. I think I could. I think I could agree with that. Um, Suvir, are you a fan of napping? Yes, I am. Power naps, I am a big fan. Okay. What kind of nap is your favorite kind of nap to take? The little bitty, uh, we call them cat naps, or the really long where you truly go to a deep sleep? Um, it is, I've been working on my REM sleep for a while now. And uh, so a power nap of 20, 25 minutes does it for me. So I'm really a fan of power nap of 20, 25 minutes. Not power. cat nap. All right. Power nap. I, 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 I really enjoy napping, but I generally oversleep. I, do, I struggle with the power nap, the little short ones. When I fall asleep, I'm truly out. Check out, day's finished. It's not, <laughs> it's not good. All right. Severe, if you were in a talent show, what yes. would you be performing? If I was in a talent show, I would be performing Snowman. A snowman. Just, probably, just standing probably, on the stage or would you be doing something? No, a snowman and probably sing, uh, sing John Jen Denver's any of the songs and uh, probably just just feel it. Everybody feel cold. There you go. A little. Uh, what's his his song that I like the most? Country Road. Huh. That is also good. I I I choose Annie's Annie's song. So probably would sing Annie's song. That's a good story. I like that one. Uh, Severe. How many languages do you speak? Currently, uh, three three languages, but I. I'm learning a little bit of French now. So one is Hindi, one is Hindi, one is Punjabi, and one is English. All right, and you're starting with French. Sit in bunny day. Bunny day. And then, of course, the last question. What do you love most about the uh, alternative dispute resolution industry? Yes. So since I have uh, joined practice uh, for the past seven, eight years, I've been really fascinated with ADR, all the ADR mechanisms, especially with mediation and arbitration. Arbitration, not so much because 
it is very expensive that is one of the you know one of the backdrops of arbitration that i don't support but here in india uh, i have been associated with many of the adr different institutions different bodies different societies working for the betterment so one part of this is i i like the word resolution because in litigation in all the practice in all the legal framework there is too much pendency there is too much delay so resolution is with an intent to settle it all because i don't like parties being in dispute for a longer stretch of time i like because in domestic domestic um, domestic issues i have always promoted adr as a very resolute mechanism that can get parties out and actually get them moving on with their lives so i like the resolution part of the adr a lot and i wish to work in this field uh, because i am really inspired by the end result the objective and the core that it actually lies in all right well of course we love having you as a member of our industry if someone were looking for you to help them do you have a website or a way for them to reach you yes of course so i am there you can always search me on linkedin my name is s u v i r s i d h u you can find all the details there perfect Sivir, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate you playing idle chat with me, and I wish you all the best. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Natalie, for coming. My pleasure.